Being able to be anonymous is one of the core goals of many crypto blockchains that exist today. Since creating a blockchain account only requires generation of a random private key, no information actually exists that links a blockchain account to its owner's real-world identity, at least until now. This is The Digital Prepper, and today I'm going to be talking about crypto dusting, what it is, and how it can be used to break blockchain anonymity and potentially make your identity exposed. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you do like the video and want to discuss anything regarding digital preparedness or just preparedness in general, be sure to help this video get out to more potential preppers by leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing to see more like this. With that being said, let's get started. So before we talk about crypto dusting, let's take a moment to talk about what cryptocurrency actually is. Cryptocurrency, or crypto, is a digital or virtual currency that is secured by cryptography, which makes it nearly impossible to counterfeit or double spend. In simpler terms, a cryptocurrency is just the form of digital money that lives on the internet. You can send and receive it, but no actual physical copies exist anywhere, like you have a physical dollar or any other form of physical currency. So with that being said, you might be asking yourself why you even need cryptocurrency. Well, first, Bitcoin actually showed us that it was possible to create money that would only live on the internet and not be controlled by any one government or corporation. Another good for obtaining crypto is that it can't be confiscated. In many countries, your normal currency can be frozen by the bank or your assets can be seized by the government with little to no warning. Cryptocurrency is different. It's not controlled by a central bank or government, which means that if you hold your Bitcoin wallet keys, only you have access to and control over that money with no government intervention possible. And finally, Another just common sense reason to buy cryptocurrency is that it just diversifies your portfolio. If you're already working on being prepared, you probably might have silver or gold or other assets stored. And this is just another financial investment to add to your preps. So now that we're all familiar with what cryptocurrency is, Let's talk about what crypto dusting is and why you should be aware of it if you own any sort of cryptocurrency. Dust is a term for a very small fractional part of a cryptocurrency. If you're using, let's say, Bitcoin, for example, a Satoshi is actually the smallest possible unit of a Bitcoin and is worth 0.0000000001 Bitcoins or a few hundredths of a cent in US dollars. A unit this small is useless for most transactions on the blockchain unless it's combined with other types of cryptocurrency. Dusting is a term for sending micropayments to the address on the blockchain that consists of only a few Satoshis or the equivalent. Now, dusting can be used for various purposes, which includes mass messaging as blockchain transactions can carry data with them, which makes it possible to embed messages in dust transactions. This makes dusting usable as an equivalent to an email blast, for example. It can also be used for stress testing because a dust transaction is actually a very cheap transaction on the blockchain, which can potentially be used to stress test the bandwidth of a certain blockchain network. Spamming is another thing it can be used for, because like stress testing, spamming also takes advantage of the low cost of dust transactions. And finally, dusting can be used for wallet de-anonymization, as dust cannot actually be spent without combining it with your other funds. For this reason, it can be tracked to de-anonymize blockchain accounts. Now, dusting is not always malicious. However, one of the more common uses for dusting 
is breaking the anonymity of blockchain accounts. So, as we just talked about, dusting attacks can be used as a way of breaking the anonymity of the cryptocurrency blockchain. Normally, in theory, it should be pretty much impossible to determine if two different crypto wallets are owned by the same user. In practice, any analysis of crypto transactions, as well as analyzing patterns of life on the blockchain, can break anonymity. Now, dusting helps with this because dust cannot be used independently for a transaction because its value is actually less than the transaction fee when using crypto to purchase any items. Because of this, anyone that is using cryptocurrency that are making transactions would need to combine dust with other crypto holdings to use it within that transaction. If a blockchain transaction combines dust from one address with a user's holdings in another address, if a bad actor is analyzing those transactions on the blockchain, they could potentially know that both of those addresses are owned by you. So now that we know about dusting, Let's talk about how to protect yourself from these kinds of attacks. Now, the simplest defense against dusting attacks is just not to use dust that is sent to a blockchain account. Many crypto wallets have actually been updated to protect against dusting attacks by identifying funds from transactions that are below a given threshold as dust and marking them as do not spend. Now, this can mean that a user wouldn't be able to use all of the funds at a crypto address, but honestly, the value of the dust is very minor. You can also protect your anonymity on the crypto blockchain by using a hierarchical deterministic blockchain wallet, which may sound complicated, but to put it in simple terms, it's just a wallet that creates a brand new address for each blockchain transaction. All of your funds that are in one address would be drained during a transaction and any access is sent to a brand new address, which would make it very difficult to determine if the new address is owned by you or not, which will increase your digital security. With these single use addresses, it's much more difficult to track a user's activity and identity on the blockchain. To wrap things up, to be perfectly honest, unless you are what they call a whale, which in this case means a person with large holdings of cryptocurrency, like we're talking millions of dollars worth, or if you live in an area where personal safety, security, or political instability is a common problem, dust attacks are more of an annoyance than an actual concern to you. I also do want to state that having crypto dust in your crypto wallet does not give anyone control of your funds. And finally, the privacy measures that new wallets and exchanges have implemented have greatly reduced any of the common concerns around this kind of attack. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to get more videos like this that will help you with your digital preparedness. If you have any ideas for more videos, or just want to share your experiences with prepping, please leave a comment down below. Stay safe, stay prepared, more digital prepping to come.